first instinct is that entrepreneurship is someone who goes out and does their own thing and will make a living no matter what. Actually, I think entrepreneurship is one of the easiest job professions to get into. You don't need any credentials. You don't need anything. You just say, I'm an entrepreneur, and it happens. So, you know, should you be an engineer? Should you be a MBA? Should you be somebody who comes out of politics? The answer is yes, because it doesn't matter what your your formal degree is. It really matters how much courage you have. So people often ask me what it's like to be a woman entrepreneur, working in a very male industry, male-dominated industry. And what has happened is there is a lot of pressure on women to behave in ways that are less aggressive, that are less ambitious, that are less leader-like, um, and to be more supportive because everybody loves a supportive woman. The biggest thing that I was afraid of when I started my first company was what happens if I fail? I am an overachieving girl who has never failed at anything. Um, I got the best grades, I got every job I wanted, I always succeed. And what happens if that is no longer true? How do you get from an idea to execution to actually building something? And a lot of people have great ideas and they don't act on them. So how do you know that your idea is actually a good one? You're gonna have so many people tell you no, so many people doubt your idea. And you know, I really like the saying that um, I'm, I'm so thankful that so many people told me no because it gave me the opportunity to get it done myself. And I think that's really the mentality of an entrepreneur is there are lots and lots of people who are gonna say no. And that's why there are lots and lots of people who don't have their own companies.